In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this dog kennel that holds two medium sized dogs or one medium sized dog and a normal sized person. So let's go. Okay, so the dog kennel is pretty much made out of wood uh, and rebar, but for the most part it's made out of wood. So the first thing we got to do is chop down all these pieces of wood and two more manageable sizes. Uh, and I'm going to be using poplar for the wood frame. After I cut my pieces down to the more manageable sizes lengthwise, it was time to take it over to the table saw and cut them um, widthwise, uh, a little bit over three inches, since three inches is going to be my final uh, dimension. Once I cut all my pieces down to three inches and I have all my pieces um, marked and ready to go, I took it over back to the chop saw and cut them to the final lengthwise for all the pieces that I need. After that, we're going to repeat, go back to the table saw and actually cut it to three inches wide. I ended up going with pocket holes for the joinery of this uh, dog kennel just to make it more DIY friendly. So we at home to just do this with just Paco Chig as well. You don't have to do any fancy woodworking. Once I got my two edge pieces uh, screwed in, I found the middle, put the middle piece in, and then the doors are going to be 14 inches wide, so I just measured that out. The rebar is 21 inches long, uh, that's going to give me about an inch, half inch to an inch uh, for the rebar to go into the wood. Then after I cut all my rebar down, I went back to my wood pieces to drill where the rebar is going to go. I started with a smaller bit, uh, just picked a random medium sized bit and then finished off with a 3 8 of an inch bit since that is the size of my rebar. Uh, the rebar does have like these little, I don't know what you call it, like little bumps on the, each side. Um, and it interferes when I try to put it inside of the hole there, so I just grounded those down and made it flush. After the rebar has been grounded down and I go ahead and test fit all my rebar and wood pieces to make sure everything's gonna fit together.
I still haven't added any glue to the wood pieces because they need to come off for paint and sanding. And yeah. For painting the rebar pieces, I used a wire brush to take off the surface rust, make sure everything is clean for the paint. I used rust reform on all the rebar pieces to prevent it from getting any rust, and then I sprayed it with just some black paint. While the rebar is drying, I moved over back to the wood pieces and decided to paint those white. I gave these two coats and I'm gonna do a third coat after everything's assembled again. You guys want to see something nasty? Look at that. It's all sweat. People say in Arizona that it's dry heat. I don't care if it's dry heat, it's still hot. After the paint has dried on the rebar and the wood, it was time for the final assembly. So I added the wood glue and screwed it back together because this is not coming apart anymore. Up next was the top for the dock kennel and I decided to use solid walnut uh, because why not. I'm going to be using a biscuit joiner to help me align the top. It is too hot in Arizona and the wood glue was drying too fast on me so I had to kind of do my top glue up in two different pieces. I used some scrap pieces of wood and a clamp to help me hold the door while I mark where the hinge is going to go. I was not able to find a locking mechanism that was black, so I just grabbed whatever I could find and just spray painted it black. I 
after the top has dried overnight, I used a circle saw to cut it to the right length and I took it over to the table saw to cut it to the right width. After cutting the top to the right size, it was time to sand the top and the bottom. I just want the Danish oil to finish up the top of the dog kennel. I'm going to be using these eight shape fasteners to secure the top to the dog kennel. That way I could transport it into different pieces so it's not as heavy. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you dislike the video, also hit the like button. It really means a lot to me. Um, also, while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Um, and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. I'll catch you guys in the next video.